I'm the director of the Office of Safety, Health and Environment in NUS. So other than ensuring safety in uh, laboratory practices and overall student activities, I'm also responsible for emergency management in NUS. My presentation today will cover how we uh, carry out the business continuity planning and emergency management in NUS. It will, I will touch on um, the various appro the approaches that we have adopted from uh, implementation of the policies to the plans to the reviews and uh, the various actions and, that we have in place. I see emergency management and business continuity as a whole continuum of activities. When an accident or incident happens, it will impact your business. At some point in time, uh, in some cases, it may uh, affect your activities that you carry on. That's where BCP comes in. I don't think it's unique to any particular organization. I think it's this particular approach can be used in private sector as well as in public sector. The challenge that we face in NUS is the sheer size of the organization. There are very many activities uh, of diverse natures, so having to manage all these various diverse activities and incorporate emergency and business continuity planning into um, these activities is a challenge. It's important to secure the commitment of top management as in all other uh, improvement programs that organizations embark on. Other than having top management commitment, you need to have a team that will work through the issues and then to see through the implementation.